Hello, I am Pastor Brad Doty coming to you with our daily devotion, Growing Spiritually, for Wednesday, November 11th. I invite you at this time to take two minutes to be in the presence of God, to be in silence, to allow God to speak to you and to reflect on God and God's glory. When your mind distracts, just speak God's name, recentering yourself uh, into this time uh, of being in the presence of God. Our reading comes from Jonah, the first chapter. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. Go to the great city of Nineveh and preach against it, because its wickedness has come before me. But Jonah ran away from the Lord and headed for Tarshish. He went down to Joppa, where he found a ship bound for that port. After paying the fare, he went aboard and sailed for Tarshish to flee from the Lord. Then the Lord sent a great wind on the sea, and such a violent storm arose that that ship threatened to break up. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Jonah is a great example of a prophet uh, with the case of emotionally unhealthy spirituality. He hears uh, and serves God, but refuses to listen to God's call to love the people of Nineveh, to show them mercy. Rather, he refuses. Nineveh is a place where they are known for their violence, their barbaric behavior. And Jonah flees 2,400 miles in the opposite direction to Tarshish, present-day Spain. A reading from, or a quote from Eugene Peterson. And why Tarshish, Eugene asks. For one thing, it is a lot more exciting than Nineveh. Nineveh was an ancient site with layer after layer of ruin and unhappy history. Going to Nineveh to preach was not a coveted assignment for a Hebrew prophet with good references. But Tarshish was something else. Tarshish was exotic. Tarshish was an adventure. Tarshish, in the biblical references, was a far off uh, and sometimes idealized port. 
It is reported in 1 Kings 10.22 that Solomon's fleet of Tarshish fetched gold, silver, ivory, monkeys, and peacocks. In Tarshish, we can have a religious career, he can have a religious career without having to deal with God. Wow. Jonah runs. He runs, uh, but God sends a great storm. Jonah loses control of his life and destiny. He wanted to have that control and have his own uh, will be done. But God had a different will. So he is thrown overboard and swallowed by a great fish. And it is from the belly of that fish that Jonah begins to wrestle with God in prayer. What does it take for us to come to God in prayer? What does it take for us to wrestle with God in prayer? What signs are God sending you? Let us pray. Lord God, may your will be done, not my will. You know how easy it is to call myself a Christian, but then become busy forgetting about your will and desires. Forgive me for this sin. Help me to listen to you and grant me the courage to faithfully surrender to you. In Jesus' name, amen. And now I invite you in another two minutes of silence being in the presence of God. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Have a blessed day.